So now that Kim Kardashian, keeping up with the Kardashian new season coming out, she's talking about a whole bunch of stuff. And one of the things she's talking about is her calling Kanye West after their six-year-old son saw an ad about her and Ray J tape, the infamous tape. She said the tape come back to Hunter, and she actually called Kanye West like in tears over her son saying an ad about it. And she was just basically saying that her son ran up to her with his tablet after he saw a picture of her mama on her phone on a Roblox game. And then when she examined it, she said it was a it was a picture like an ad for the tape. And then she said she was calling her her legal team trying to sue for damages. She said the message is more important than dollars at this point. I don't want it to be copied. I got four kids. I can't go through this again. This was like 20 years ago. I'm not going through this again, she adds. Well, actually, it was 15 years ago because I remember it specifically. It came out in, I think, March of 2007. I remember that day specifically when it came out because I was like, who the hell is Kim Kardashian and why the hell everybody care about this tape? But little did I know, and little did Ray J and Kim Kardashian knew at the time that that tape was going to launch the beginning of her era as people knowing her as a mainstream I'm not even gonna call her a celebrity. She's a reality TV star, like, not a celebrity. At this point, she's a celebrity, but she started off as a reality TV star. And then, then Ray J came out and said, this needs to stop. I also have kids. When, like, it was talks about the recirculation of the tape and was it more footage to come? And then, like, cause everybody should know, if you don't know, Kim Kardashian, she had a lot of fun in her early years. Like, she dated multiple celebrities, including Nick Cannon, a handful of rappers, like athletes, of course, Ray J, Reggie Bush, a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I ain't even gonna call her a hoe. Like, she was just having her fun. She was doing what a lot of people do, especially when you're in that life, like, you you sleep around. But she don't want her past to come hunt her. But at the end of the day, like, I get that her son six, he should have never even saw no ad of his mama doing nothing crazy, no old tape ad i get that that's very inappropriate but like the way she acting like she want to completely keep her kids from that side of the of the story even though they got her famous i understand why she want her innocent kids because her kids are like the oldest one is eight and it goes on down after that so i get her kids are extremely young but it's going to be some some point in the next three to four years where the kids gonna go to school, they're gonna be around friends, and it's gonna come up. It's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, you know your mama got got a tape with Ray J. It's gonna come up, it's just natural. And she gotta be prepared to have that talk, her and her father. Now, because the internet is always gonna remind Kim Kardashian where she came from. As much as she wanna bury that memory and try to forget about Ray J and try to forget about 2007, it's gonna be in everybody's memories as long as we are alive. We are gonna always remind her as, where the hell she came from. And she just got to keep it real with her kids when they old enough. But for right now, she better be happy she got rich out of that tape, man. What y'all think about this, boy, B? I'm out.